So guess what arrived this morning, 10 days early, and I didn't expect to see it. I got today the Galaxy Z Flip 4 early. Every year I want to order these Galaxy phones and see if there's anything new about them and unbox them and have a look at them because I really want to like folding phones, but I don't think I'm quite there yet. But every year I give it a little go. The box that you get it in is actually like the initial box is huge. It's really big. But once you open all of that up and you get down to it, it's actually quite small. There's not a lot that you get in the box with this. You tend to just get that phone and then you get the USB-C cable for it. I always like the idea of having one of these because it was a small form factor, which I really liked, but I felt like last year's battery wasn't as good as it could have been. And in the end, I was a bit too scared. So I didn't want to smash it. So instead I sent it back. But when you open this phone, it's cool. It's cool to have it flip because it just is, isn't it? Like you have the nothing phone one at the moment which is cool you have this which is cool and then when you put them side by side with the iphone you can just see the iphone is not as cool is it I remember one thing from the Samsung event is that the battery on this has got slightly better, not a huge amount better. And if you had the Z Flip 3 last year, then it might not be an idea to actually upgrade this phone. But the Z Flip 4 does enhance that battery just a little bit more. And I think that's what we need to get to with flip phones, just making the batteries a bit better. But having a bigger battery, I think, is probably one of the biggest upgrades that we'll get on these phones in the next couple of years. For that display, it's 6.7 inches. Of course, it folds and you can just see the cream in the middle there again something you don't tend to notice when you're using the phone as much but if you are one of those people that's worried about the crease I, I don't think you should be it's one of those things that just it becomes a little bit like the notch on the iPhone where you just go oh it's there but you don't really notice it so don't let that put you off trying one of these phones because I think that'd be a really a big shame if you did I just went for the base version of this so it's just got 128 gigabytes of storage and 8 gigs of RAM but then we have a look at the camera so a 12 megapixel wide that 12 megapixel ultra wide as well and of course these cameras are never as good as the big cameras the big boys on the ultra phones and they're not massively worse but you kind of when you pay that price would you rather have something that can fold and can look cool like this or do you want the big beefy cameras and that's kind of what you have to think about when you get one of these phones do you want to still be part of the experiment because it still is an experiment i think or do you want something that is a little bit more tried and tested that flex mode is still really good when you want to take a picture on something so if you set it down the side it'll give you like you can probably just see it there it kind of splits it in half a little bit looking at the monitor but it splits it in half so you can see what you want to take a picture of and that's <laughs> that's not good let's get rid of that one thing that i actually really like on this phone is the fact that you can hold it like an old school camcorder so you can just take a photo and it's all a little bit like old school you know like your granddad but i quite like it that to me makes it so much easier when you want to take uh videos or or photos it might look a bit weird but i think it's still quite cool no I'll talk to you about the hinge as well because I think that, that is probably one of the biggest upgrades on this entire phone. So it feels now so much better when you want to close the phone, but there's just something different about this year's. I can't quite put my finger on what it is, but honestly, if you've had it before, I think that's the one thing that you'll notice when you want to try and clap it down that just feels much better and the bezels around the side of the phone have shrunk slightly as well so if you have a dark wallpaper you never really saw it but thinner bezels on any phone is something that i would never ever complain about because why would you not want the smallest bezels ever and of course you have that little screen on the front of the phone and that's something that hasn't changed really last year was the big upgrade on that screen making it a bit bigger and then now it's just kind of there so it's not a change you can do a Bit more to it but i've not had chance to have a go at playing with it yet so this video is all kind of first impressions of the phone rather than what it's like to use and the other first impression is that the blue on this is really nice the blue's cool it's now not glossy anymore it's more of a i think they call it satin like a satin finish but it means that it's a little bit like the finish on the iphones it's a little bit more matte on the back and that blue i think actually is a really cool cool color well there you go a little unboxing a little look at what this phone is all about so let me know in the comments uh, do you want to see the full review of this because i will use it for uh, a week or so a couple of weeks to see what it is like so if you want to see that full review let me know in the comments below of course subscribe to the channel turn on that notification bell as well because you don't want to miss the videos that i upload once every three months for this channel do you and if you do all of that then i'll see you later